My name is Sketch. I'm a Negro. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Sketch. I do draw from time to time. But now, I sometimes paint. And as a reward for one of my loyalist fans, Julie, I am going to paint something for you. Julie is a young lady who enjoys the comfort of the mammal sloths. Her favorite colors are blue and yellow. And today, I'm going to incorporate something with those three items. For Julie, being a loyal fan, this is for you. <coughs> well, hey there, guys. Sketch here. I'm going to go ahead and start working on a painting. Now, technically, I haven't finished the other one, but that's how this goes. I'm going to keep moving. But now, the one thing... Oh, oh my nose. Oh. It itches. Okay. It's late. I'm tired. And I'm going to paint. Anyways. Because I, I do feel a little bit of a spark tonight to do some artwork. But at least I would need to get started on it, you know. Um, I've got to prep the canvas first, uh, let it dry, you know. It's my last canvas, so. You get to see how that goes out today, ha <laughs> ha! Anyways, um, let's see. So, Julie, like I said, she enjoys, I asked her what her favorite animal was, and she said sloths. So I'm gonna do some research on the computer, find out what a sloth looks like. One of the things about being an artist, you don't have to know how to draw everything. You can always look at things as reference, you know? If you don't know how something looks, look it up. And honestly, it's so much easier nowadays because we have Google. Could you imagine what it was like back in the day for an artist? It's like, hey, could you draw me a picture of a whale riding a lawnmower? And you'd be like, what's a whale? You know? So, just back then. You didn't get out much. You didn't know what the world was like. You know, today, you can go all around the world on your computer. Yeah. You can do it on your phone. Computers are outdated now. Your phone does everything. I mean, come on. I'm going to use my resources and look up the information of what a sloth looks like. I mean, I have a general idea of what they look like, but it's always good to get the fine details because that's what really sells a piece. So... Now, keep in mind, I'm going to probably keep this very simple, very abstract, but it's going to be good. I'm going to put some time and effort into this. It's going to be, uh, you know, we'll see. Stay tuned for that. I'm going to go see what a sloth looks like. Yeah. Okay, let's see a sloth. Where is it? Let's find a big sloth, shall we? Sloth, sloth. Sloth. Alright, come on, let's find this thing. Do Google search for a sloth. And, uh, oh, they're so cute. Look at them, they're little fuzzy devils. Oh, wow. Well. <laughs> okay, now some of these aren't that cute. Hold on, you guys gotta see this. This is what a sloth looks like, so for anyone that doesn't know, I'm pretty sure that most of y'all, you're watching this, is what a sloth looks like. But, uh, yeah, this is my sloth buddy. He's so adorable. Right. So, yeah, so as you can see here, this is the uh, wonderful sloth creature from the Goonies movie. Mm -hmm. yeah, pretty, 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 pretty. All right, so I'm going to do my research and uh, get back with you guys. Okay, so... I've already gone ahead and taken the liberty of uh, sketching out a quick idea of what we're doing. It's going to be a sloth. So, this one's for Julie, and uh, she likes the colors yellow and blue. So, we're going to incorporate those things into this picture. I kind of have an idea of where I'm going, so I'm not going to waste any time. I'm just going to go ahead and get started. So, let's go. Oh, the one thing I forgot to mention, I'm also going to be using watercolor on this one. I haven't used watercolor in a while, and it's just... One of those things I haven't really gotten that good at, so it's going to be an experiment for me, too. <laughs> All right, let's roll.
Okay, so I'm just gonna pause right there for a minute. Um, I've gone ahead and put in the base colors. So basically when it comes to watercolor, you have to let it dry. It's better, I think, in my opinion, um, to let it dry first, and then you come back and you start stacking your colors on. So right now, this is just a general idea. Uh, it's gonna get a lot more detailed, but I get closer, uh, tighten up uh, all the lines, things like that. So at this point, we're just gonna let it dry a bit, and I'll be right back. Uh, if anything, let's get a word from our sponsor. Okay, so we're back. Real quick, I just want to go ahead and show you. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and bring out these other sets of watercolors. <clears throat> uh, mostly because they're just a better quality watercolor. They stick to the canvas a little bit better. The one I'm using right now, eh, this, it, it's Crayola. Guys. It's uh, cheap stuff. But hey, cheap stuff works. So if it you know, does the job, use it. But I'm at the point where now I want to make sure it's going to do what I want it to do. So I'm going to use my more expensive stuff. So that way, you know, I don't have to go back and fix things a lot more. It's good to have a little bit of both. You know, I like to use cheap things, but I do have my more expensive quality uh, products that just seem to work better because they're better quality. <laughs> but anyways, let's get back to it. Here we go. Okay, so I'll stop here, let it dry again, I'll come back and put in some good details after that. Um, that's something I want to show you anyways, so stay tuned. You know, it's such a beautiful day outside, I figured I might as well, you know, come out here and enjoy this weather. I mean, look at this. It's nice and just, like, the sun is out, it's sunny, the sun's there, it's bright and sunny, and I can see the sun, and, you know. What do you think of the weather? It's sunny, right? Yeah. The weather's like beautiful. This is awesome day. You know what sucks? I've been inside all day. I just had to get some of this in my system because it's, you know, it's take it in. Uh, oh. Wonderful. Just a quick heads up. I'm about to uh, go ahead and finish up this painting. Some bad news. It caught fire, but I'm fixing it because I'm a miracle worker. I make miracles happen. Just because it caught fire doesn't mean I can't salvage it. But uh, Julie, just so you know, the, the sloth has lost his head. A little singed. You know, I don't ask how. It happened. I'm just joking. He didn't catch fire. Come on now. Seriously. Uh, stupid plane. Hold on. I'm literally walking in circles in the driveways of my neighbors. Hopefully they don't start to wonder what I'm doing because they might get suspicious. Like, oh, you got a guy out there with a camera. I think he's like with the Secret Service or something. He's awfully dark. And then I'd be like, yeah, they're right. <laughs> Either way, we're going to get inside. We're going to get to work. We're going to make the best painting that we can. Now, just so you know, quick heads up, the process of recording the video, it stopped about halfway through it, and I didn't even realize it. So there's going to be a major change from the spot you see to the next spot. And eh, it's not that bad, but you know, just a heads up. We're going to go ahead and get it done. Wish me luck, and it's going to be beautiful. <gasps> so beautiful, it's going to bring tears to my eyes. He made my eyes rain. Okay, I think I'm scaring the neighbors enough now because I'm acting weird outside and they're like, who's this guy? Don't worry guys, I live here for now. All right, let's do it. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started on dropping in a lot more detail now. And to do that, I'm going to use this little thing I found here. There's a plane outside, I apologize. As long as you have my window open, they can get open. So, this one right here. This is a watercolor marker. Let's see here. It's a Windsor or something or other. But what this is, is really cool. <laughs> Basically, you can draw with it and then come back with a paintbrush, tap it with a little water, and it'll start to blend in like watercolor. But you can use this to get into fine details. And you don't even have to use the water. You can just straight up use the marker as by itself. So I'll show you how that works here in a minute. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in some so I can... Okay. I think that'll work. Here's a tip. Put down the fork. Face.
Okay, everybody. Y'all know what time it is. It is time for playing with my Google. This is what we're going to start doing. I'm going to have a segment of this, mostly every episode. And I want you guys to give me three questions that I'm going to ask this thing. I'm going to pick the best ones, and we're going to see what we can get out of Google. Because that's my homegirl, right? So I've already picked three questions for today. But the next one, I want you guys to participate. Give me some questions to ask this thing. Just to see, see if we can get a rise out of her, okay? Do you believe in ghosts? Ghosts are just make-believe. I don't believe... Okay, I take that back. Okay, that was creepy. You've got to admit that was creepy. Oh, wow. Okay, okay, okay. Next question. What's your favorite movie? I like Close Encounters of the Third Kind because I like discovering strange new things and colorful blinking lights. Oh, here we go with the epilepsy thing again, all right? All right, here's one that's more personal. Would you ever hurt me? Sorry, I don't understand. Would you ever hurt me? I don't understand. <sighs> yeah, because she can't, t she can't answer the question. She should have just said no, but that means she can hurt me. Uh-oh. Guys, we might have a dilemma here. Mind your, mind your Googles. Make sure they are not out to get you. Because when the Terminator comes out, she's going to be there at its back. Da -na 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 -na. It is done. The possum, I mean, the sloth. Is finished. I'm satisfied. Will she be satisfied, Julie? My friend Julie? Will she be satisfied with a sloth possum? A slothum? A, a pos? A pothum? I don't know. But hopefully the answer is yes. What do you think, folks? Behold the almighty There it is. There's our sloth. Our slothy friend. He is blue. And there's yellow. And there's some green trees and shrubbery and then zoom in here. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Got some little rocks in there and yeah, the trees and uh, kind of looks like he has a bloody nose, but I'll get over that. And do a little, you know, just something to make it pop out. So that is it. So Julie, hope you like it. If you don't, sorry, <laughs> it's free, so get over it. <laughs> Alrighty, and uh, we'll be back after these messages. Not really. No, no more commercials, guys. Right. <sighs> so there you have it, guys. The first official sketch with sketch start to finish on a single piece of artwork. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you think it came out, you know, worth my time. I think it was pretty good. The thing about this is it always looks better in person. So um, I'm going to do a special episode on when I actually deliver the piece to her. So um, be prepared for that. I'm not sure when that'll be. I'll have to schedule a time to go meet Julie so I can deliver the artwork. And, uh, please keep your eyes and ears open for when I throw a contest out there, because this is probably going to be a regular thing. So, just because I get bored, y'all, until I, you know, find something better to do, this is what I'm going to do to entertain myself. And I like being generous, so, um, alright, I think, well, look, it's just been a, it's been a moment, you know, so, I'm happy. Um, if you guys get any questions, please feel free to ask me. Drop something in the comments box, it'd be nice, you know. Um, also, uh, the Google thing. Please, put some, just throw some questions in there. Just come on, I'll, I'll ask them. Keep them tasteful. And keep them, you know, I have children that watch my show, guys. So please, you know, don't go overboard with the bad things. Because bad things are bad. 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 Alright, I'm going to get out of here, guys. I am tired. 
and maybe I'll try to do another episode by next week, but there's some big plans up in the air for what's coming next, so please stay ready. Okay, cool. I had to make my face for the night. Alright, guys. I'm out of here. I'm going to bed. See y'all later. Sketch out. Yeah. The possum. I mean, the sloth. Oh, they're so cute. Look at them. The little fuzzy devils. Stay tuned for that. I'm gonna go see what a sloth looks like.